Hello everyone, welcome to my contest entry video for Horrific Nightmares JM's Road to a Thousand Subscriber Contest. Um, I've been watching him for at least the past year. I really do enjoy watching his videos. Um, I'll put a link to his channel in the description box. You can go ahead and check him out. And I think there's like um, at least one day left before his contest ends. And he's giving away some cool stuff. So uh, go ahead and check him out and give him a sub. I think he's at... Uh, just under 950 subscribers right now. So let's go ahead and get them to a thousand um, before the end of next month, hopefully. All right, uh, for his contest, he had two uh, questions. And the first question uh, essentially was a two-parter. And it's how you feel about zombie movies and do you think they're oversaturated? For me, I've always loved uh, the zombie subgenre ever since uh, George A. Romero's original Night of the Living Dead. However, I do think that in one aspect that they are oversaturated, but for me it's like the subgenre of the comedic zombie movie. Um, initially, when Return of the Living Dead first came out, it was kind of novel, but we've had so many movies in the last little bit that had the comedic bent where they're not taking them seriously. It kind of reminds me like towards the end of the original Universal Monsters run where they felt they weren't scary anymore, so they had Abbott and Costello you know, interact with the mummy, Frankenstein's monster, and Dracula, and stuff like that. Um, I prefer my zombie movies, um, at this point, I, I like them to be, uh, more serious. And I know there's not too much you can do with it, but every once in a while a film comes out that adds a new, uh, angle. And I have one right here, and that's The Girl with All the Gifts. Um, they do enjoy this film, and I liked how they, uh, tweaked the um, zombie subgenre by adding that weird fungus thing and the fact that they, they, they the human hybrid uh, zombie kids. I really do enjoy this film a lot and I also did like Train to Busan as well. Um, there hasn't been too many um, straight serious zombie movies released since these last two in my opinion. All right and the next question is how do you feel about independent horror? And I feel that independent horror is really important to the horror uh, genre in general. And like throughout the 70s and 80s and stuff, it was really important. Um, now we don't get too much independent stuff aside from what comes out through Wild Eye and Breaking Glass. I do have one film here that I did enjoy. Um, it's called Kill, Capture and Release. I'm not sure which company this is, but this is an independent film. It's a shot on video film. And normally I don't like uh, the found footage stuff, but this one is pretty cool. It's about a young couple that decide that they want to murder somebody and they decide to document it. So that's um, pretty much the plot of this one. Um, I'm really surprised I actually did enjoy this one, but I do enjoy like Wild Eye releasing stuff. I'm planning to pick up that uh, Triggered soon. So that's it. That's my contest entry video for um, Nightmares JM and uh, give him a sub the link to his channel will be in the description box thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you all later